Hello. Hi. How you doing? Yeah, I don't really post on this channel much unless it's podcasts, which I'm working on right now. I think I'm on episode three and they are located there if you ever want to see them. But today is an important update today because it has been Mental Health Awareness Day. I did not film on that day, but um, I wanted to talk about some mental awareness and my own personal discovery whilst being on antidepressants and a little warning for anyone that has gone cold turkey on antidepressants or anyone considering going cold turkey. Um, before I start this video, these opinions are my own. They aren't professional or anything like that. They're just how I feel. And if you do consider going off them yourself, please do consult your doctor, which I will be talking about. Okay, let's get started. Right, so in May 2018 this year, I started on a antidepressant called Cytal Pram. I always say it wrong. I think it's Cytal Pram. I'm going to put it on a picture somewhere, maybe up there or down there or there. The correct spelling in a little box and stuff. So I started on that because I have a lot of anxiety and depression. Um, anxiety ranges from social anxiety, overthinking and uh, yeah, stuff like that. Whereas depression is more like I can't get out of bed or be productive. So I went and spoke to a mental, um, I went and spoke to a GP, um, a doctor, about what was going on and stuff, and I was prescribed the cytal medication. Um, so I was on that. Now, when I first started, I was extremely tired a lot of the time, um, but that's your body adjusting to the serotonin re being released in the receptors and the extra boost from the medication. So I was... I was given a cytal pram. I was very tired for a while, but once it got into my system, I was very, very productive. I felt less depression, hardly any anxiety, and it was working fantastic for me. There were some side effects though, which I did question. I did start having a little bit of bleeding, um, menstrual bleeding, which and it was nowhere near my period or anything, and I started missing periods also, but that could be very much with my PCOS, which is something completely different to the medication. So there was that. And as I said, it worked fantastic for me. Um, I wasn't allowed alcohol on it and there were some other sexual issues being on SSRIs. They can cause you to have no libido and also cause problems with your libido. So before going on these, realize that can be a case and a situation, especially if you're with a partner. Okay, so let's bring you up to date. So, with this medication I'm on, I was on, Cytopram, I'm just going to say it wrong the whole time, but it doesn't matter. Um, it got to the point where I was getting very lethargic and very tired and just worn out, and it didn't feel like it was working anymore, so I needed to talk to a doctor. Um, but because I was worried, because previously when I called up um, a month beforehand, I was very much fobbed off by the doctor and told, basically, here's some more of the medication, just deal with that. And I wanted to discuss how it was making me feel. So every time I tried to talk to a doctor, I wasn't allowed past the receptionist. The receptionist was like, you need to do a routine appointment. So I stupidly was like, hey, let's just go off the medication. I don't need to be on it right now. I wanna maybe switch on to another one or come off of it entirely. Um, I thought it would be okay. And for anyone that is on medication like this, you feel like, you know what, I can just come off of it. I'm, I'm feeling a bit better now. I'm getting less anxiety, less depression. I can do this. Oh boy. Oh boy, was I wrong. The first three days were okay. I was feeling productive again. And then the dizziness started. The anxiety started. I had an episode of um, I hyperventilated. I had a panic attack for an hour. Uh, everything started going very, very bad and downhill very quickly. As the days progressed and I wasn't taking any antidepressants at all, my body started to be very much tired, very much all over the place. My motor skills were tragic. I was falling over. I was passing out. I was just, just not having a great time. Um, so I had to call the doctors and I suggest for anyone, if you are going to come off the medication, please talk to your doctor to wean off the medication. I was stupid for not weaning off the medication and I threw some medication away 
by accident because I was cleaning my room and I was like, I don't have any more to wean myself off either. I know you may be nervous in the situation and I know I hate ringing the doctors because you have to jump through hoops to get medication. Um, which brings us back to this week. So Monday, I called the doctors, I got through to the receptionist. Again, bear in mind receptionists have no medical training or experience in that area and they are not qualified. I told the receptionist I need to speak to the doctor. They said, what is it about? I said, I'm off my medication. I've been off of it for, I believe, eight days. The receptionist said, this is not urgent. This is more of a routine appointment. I can book you in for two weeks time. I said, you don't understand. I'm in withdrawal and I'm not meant to be off of that. She said, I understand. Go down to the pharmacist and get a refill from your other one. I was like, I don't want to be on the other one. I'm having problems with it. She said, there's nothing I can do except book me in for two weeks time. I was disgusted by the behavior. I went down to the pharmacist. I asked for a refill. They said the GPs are backlogged by eight days. They took me into a room. I explained the situation. They were confused that no one was willing to help. They gave me a helpline to call. It is 111 in the UK. It's the NHS urgent but not emergency helpline. I went to the helpline. I called the helpline. They assessed me and they said, you need to see a doctor within one to two hours to go back on your medication because it's very important. And they told me to ring up the GP again, get through to the receptionist and ask to see the doctor and extended hours to get the medication. In the end, I got my mum to ring the doctors because I was just so nervous and anxious at this point. I didn't want to be fobbed off again by a receptionist and told that mental health doesn't matter to the, to the to me. Doesn't It's not important. It's not seen as an urgent appointment. She spoke to them and what she had to say was basically depression means a lot to a lot of people. I need to go on medication. And after that conversation she had with them, I was put through to a doctor within one minute the doctor asked how I was feeling what medication I wanted to go on and that I need to go on medication straight away this was continuously told to me straight away you shouldn't be withdrawing um so she gave me some options because I said I didn't want to go on the previous one and the one I'm on now is um flox fluoxetine uh, that's the English word you probably can't see it because it's not focused but this one is basically uh, the English version, the English name of Prozac. So I'm on this right now. I was also offered therapy, but at the moment I'm doing a CBT course. Um, so therapy, it was fantastic doing two sessions of therapy. And if anyone wants to hear about how therapy sessions went and the two different types I went to, the bereavement and the CBT, I will do a follow-up video. If anyone has any questions about being on medication, feel free to comment below because I want to know what your experience is and has been with Prozac and previous medication and how you've deal dealt with it and how it's still seen as a stigma in a lot of GPs and it's annoying <laughs> because it is urgent to people and it's I just wanted to make this video for anyone that may be going cold turkey or considering going cold turkey and a bit of a warning and some of the things that you can get if that's the case and that there is still help for you out there and there is also helplines that you can call like I called 111 to get through to their doctors and see what they could do for me. I'm now on this one. I My symptoms have all gone because I have an antidepressant so the dizziness has gone. Everything else is decent at the moment. I'm feeling more of myself. I'm not falling over which is fantastic because falling over all the time is not great. FYI. Um, but yeah, I'm on these at the moment. If anyone wants any updates on these, I think I've been on them for, I think, four days. Three, four days. And yes, so they're here. Ah, one second. So one, two, three, four. Oh, five days. I've been on them for five days. So this is how they come. And you take one a day at midday. So I've been on those for five days so far. And I'm feeling a lot better in myself. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to make this kind of update video and for other updates on the channel I'm doing a Doctor Who series review in the next video and the podcast is going out in a few days I'm feeling a bit more productive again and back into my kind of decent mental 
I feel a bit better now, like mentally my head's like not feeling like it's crying every five minutes, which is good, <laughs> really good. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to subscribe and comment below about your mental health experiences. And if there's any alternative to medication like this, I'd love to hear any herbal ones or any diet ones because I really want to research into getting myself better, a lot, a lot better mentally and with coping mechanisms. So yeah, thank you and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye bye.